Hello and welcome to Riseman channel. Today I want to walk through the concept of unlocking your old Android phone, installing a complete different operative system, and then finally install Tyremux and run the Procmark client. It all started with me trying to get my old trusty OnePlus 5, the cheeseburger model, from 2017 to you know install something modern on it. It's a quite nice phone, um, and it has a good camera, a USB-C, um, NFC, Bluetooth, and I quite like that. Uh, it's been doing well. It came out of a box with uh, OnePlus own operative system. It's all an Android based, so they make their own versions of it. Theirs was called Oxygen OS. Now, like all these companies, after a while they stopped supporting things, and the company stopped doing that and got stuck around Android 10. Now what we have today is Android 14, but that's not the major issue. The major issue is that the Android ecosystem has an SDK and from version 31 of it and higher, they changed a lot and all the apps had to be adapted. So if you didn't have the latest SDK, and it was mandatory after I think this Android 12. A lot of those old apps will not get more updates and you can't get the latest stuff anymore and can't install it, it doesn't work. So I got stuck with an old phone, old OS, and not able to run anything with it. Now, this is my journey in order to solve that problem because it was solvable. And how I did that is what we're gonna do now. It all starts with something called the Lineage OS, Android distribution. Since Android is an open source project, a lot of different OSs has been out there. Now, one of the most prominent one is the Lineage. And this is how it looks like. And when I started looking at this the first time, I was like, okay, this can't be hard. And it turned out it took me some hours to do that. So let's try and see if we can get all of this repeated. I already have lineage on my phone, but I'm planning of just wiping it all out now and remaking the steps. So you can do this, follow exact same steps as I'm doing and be able to run Teramux and Approxima on it. Let's get started. Get into a wiki, and then you go to the list of devices. When you go to the list of devices, I have a OnePlus. You can see this support quite a lot of different phones. I have a cheeseburger, so it comes high up early on here. And this is what it says. It says that I can get kernel versions 4.4. I can run Lineage 21 on Android 14. And uh, that's pretty awesome for me. And here is where the hard part comes. Now, you need to do a whole heap of steps in order to get this to work. And uh, I have set up a folder with all the stuff that I downloaded already, but I will show you where to get those things and then to do this. First of things that you need to do is to go here to get to the downloads. And you want to download all of these free items on the latest here. You can see that I put it all in here and you see this and this and this is what I have. So once you have done that, great. We can take away this one. Oh, there's many lineage always here. The next step is go to installation. I don't want to build, I don't want to upgrade of lineage, here is a seven step guide. And we tell you around step six that you need to download some more stuff. So let's, let's see what happens. They want you to install the ADB and Fastboot. ADB is called the Android Debug Bridge. It's one way to connect and talk to your phone via USB-C or the USB port. And you need to have that installed before, and then you go here for setup instructions. They wanted to install this, 
It looks kind of awesome here. So you want to go to this download here to the Windows zip here and you will get this platform tools and it will download it. This says R35. I've already moved all of those things into my platform. Yeah, this one. And I unzipped it and I got this. So this is where I'm going to run my stuff. Here is my ADB and I'm going to run the Windows terminal, a command prompt from inside of this folder. Okay. And that's going to look like this. This is where we are. And since we are in Windows environment, I have to use the old DOS commands instead of uh, the Linux commands that I'm so used to. So if I type the wrong thing, please bear with me. If you install it correctly and you're running it on a local like this, you will get, say, 1.041. This most likely will be increasing as we keep on talking. And this is for 35 that we did. So now I have this running. You do the same thing. It's all in one folder. You install all this bot image, the zip there, and recovery image in a different folder. So I will, when I will do things, I will go back and I will go for Linux 21 and I will reach it that way in the path. So I'm not gonna install the rest of this and install it in the path environment, uh, like they say here. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you download that one, great. And we skip this because you don't really need to do that besides this one. So you have the Windows zip to get the ADB software and you also need to have the Windows or USB drivers in order to get the computer OS to identify properly the phone of yours. Two ways of doing it. You can go from the SDK manager, which is a little bit annoying to do, so I don't do it. I downloaded the USB thing here. You go down here, here, and you get USB driver 13, which I have here, and I've unzipped it. I went in here, you go in here, and then you go for the inf file. And it will install it. Great. So you have USB drivers, you have a platform tools, and you have a lineage OS things ready. Okay, did that make sense? I hope it makes sense. You have to pause the video and go back. So you did that step, and we did this step, right? A one and five. I don't have a Mac OS, I'm Linux, when I'm doing this on Windows. Next thing is actually to set up ADB. And it wants you to do that in your phone. So this is more funny because now I have to go into the phone and do this stuff. First of all, I will connect my USB stick here. And then uh, you need to go into the settings. And once you're in the settings, you need to go down to something called the, about the phone. And then you need to press that one seven times. No, you have to go into about the phone and then I have to go down to a build number. This is thing. It doesn't say everywhere. Build number could be somewhere else, of course, in the about the phone, but it's here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now it says that I have enabled. My first thing I was confused is like, where is it now then? But it's not there. You have to go out of the about the phone and go into system because that's where it is. And then you need to go down to developer options, right? And that's what you're gonna press. So once you're there, you need to go down to uh, debugging. Let me see, I have to move myself a bit here. And here, USB debugging. Click on that one. Yes, I want to do that. That says bling and bling. And I don't want to disable anything. I want to keep on doing things. And blah, 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 blah. Mm. You can do a whole lot more with uh, developer settings. Uh, I think we are done. Yeah, I'm just gonna swipe through. Okay, skip that one. All right, we go out back to uh, here. And we go here. And we 
down to there. What I do need to do now is go back into here. And there, I need to run a to b exe devices. We start a service and you will see that it's found a device. That's great. That means we have now done this step. We uh, enable the debugging. We plug in the device to computer. We looked at it in the ADBI AGB devices. And if your phone asks you uh, about this to allow the USB bugging, you should check always allow and press OK. All right. And if it didn't work, you have to redo all this stuff. But this is good. So here gives you some examples of what you can do. You can uh, start a shell, meaning that you can start running commands directly on your phone instead. But you don't have to. So we're done with this one. We're closing this one here and we get back to the wiki. Oops, I lost it, sorry. Uh, OnePlus, uh, back again. Installation, all right. So first side, we set up ADB and Fastboot. We enable USB on the device and it works. Here's where you want to do, if you want to back up your uh, Google accounts, you know, this is the perfect place and time to make a complete phone backup and on Storm the Cloud. Because what I'm doing here, I'm going to wipe my phone completely. So nothing's going to be left on it. That's going to be pristine. So please remember that when you do things now. And yeah, make sure that you read all this stuff here. properly. This is just for me when I do it. Check the correct firmware. And this lineage uh, require that you are on a Android 10 version of the stock OS, you know, on the OS before. So I was fine. I don't did very much on this page. And we go back in here. And here it wants you to enable OM lock if present. I didn't find that one, but I have seen it somewhere else. So we're going to go in here. Let's go over there. Oops, here we go. And we're going to do ADB dash reboot bootloader. See, you see it entered this. So now I'm in a bootloader mode. And now it wants me to verify this by saying fast boot and devices again. And now it did. So fast boost only acknowledge when the phone is in fast boot mode, in the bootloader mode. Okay, cool. And we know that. We didn't get any errors. If we do, we would have a problem. Let's see. It wanted me to run fast boot OEM. Unlock. It's because my device is already unlocked, so the command failed, but yours wouldn't. Uh, and if it did unlock, you should reboot it. And then you should able, you need to re-enable USB debugging um, with the developer uh, options, if you had to do that. But mine were, so I can't show that. Next is installing Lineage Recovery Image using Fastboat. So remember what we downloaded all this uh, extra files here. This is the one that we're going to use now. Okay. So I am in fast 
an about bootloader and I can see it in my devices. So this is the same thing again because you need to reinstall it into that one because you restarted your phone. And then it wants me to do fastboot flash flash recovery. And this is why we're going to go backwards because this is a path to the recovery thing. All right, let's me make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And it uploaded that one to it. Now reboot into recovery to performance. All right, how do we do that? Yeah, well, this is when we come into the Ziggy again. Uh, here. Now, I need to select on the on the volumes. If I press it, you see the red thing of changes. I need to go into recovery mode and then press the power button. this old thing of booting. All right, this is how it looks like in the recovery mode. So this means that we're now showing the lineage OS and then we can go to the next one. Here it says download the lineage OS package system. <laughs> this is like this is this one that we downloaded before. Okay, so we already have that one, and now we need to do factory reset. This is what I'm gonna do. This whole thingy thingy. Factory. Oops. 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 I'm going back. Uh, oops. I'm gonna go back to the Ziggy. Here we go. So I need to go to factory reset. And I don't know if you can see it here, but yes, it, it says format data factory reset. And that's what I'm gonna do. It warns me that this cannot be undone and I select format data. So the whole four phone is now gonna be wiped. Okay, it is wiped. It says down here, it says data wipe complete. Okay, let's go back to here. And oh, we did this, return to main menu. Okay, let's go back to Ziggy. Return to main menu is the arrow up here. That's where we are now. And what do you want me to do now? It wants me to do side loads with zip, but do not reboot. Okay. And how do we do that? How do we do a side load? A side load means that we press, let's dig it again. We press apply update and apply from ADP. And you can see that now because yeah the colors apply from adb okay so you select that one and it waits there now that means uh, let me do this and this uh, yes now we're gonna do adb and see do a side load and then this is the path to that side load thing. And what was it called again? Lineage. It's a long name. We do this, and you see that the, this one is sending, and it says here verifying package. And it also informs me of uh, that it can report this if it's 
uh, well, this is what it will say when it's good, but sometimes Valpert stops at 47% and reports this. But they say that even if you get this message, it is also fine and you can go proceed to the next step. I have noticed that this will take some time. <coughs> So the phone says this. And the terminal says 47%. I guess this is how fast your phone is. Patching system in the image unconditionally, patching render image, success, install complete with state zero. Cool, I can do this, and it says X transfer one. So this is according to the instructions 100%. Cool. And now comes the biggie for me that I messed up so many times. Uh, installing add-ons. This, if you don't do this, you will not have access to the Google App Store and you need Google App Store to, in order to do install some other things. So I wholeheartedly in, uh, instruct you to do this. So <laughs> now we want you to download something. So you have to click here and you go to Google Apps here. I will maximize this one again so you can see a little bit more. You see the installation, downloads and everything. So for Lineage 21, this is mobile, I have an ARM64, so if I go here, I end up on GitHub, and this is the file that I'm downloading. That's, it's called Mind the Gaps, and this is the file, it's 420 megabytes, so I will not do that. However, I will do this because of course, like before, I've already done this. <laughs> this is what I downloaded before. So you do that, you put it in the same folder like everything else, and you'll be fine. Now, you need to sideload this one, so. And you cannot re, this is instructions, you cannot install this if you reboot the phone, that's why my phone is still in uh, uh, bootloader mode, recovery mode. So don't do anything yet because we still need to sideload this one now. So don't do that. So, no, user experience, the DVA can package below. Yeah, you have issues. Great, I get it. So we have to go back to the steps all that we were doing, this is the last step. I remember we were here, and uh, you download it there. Now what I need to do here is apply update, apply for ADB like we do before, and then I need to sideload it like this. And then signature verification fail and click continue. All right, so let's do that. All right, now we're here, and we need to do apply update, apply from ADB, yes side load we're in there so it's okay we will go to term and now it wants us to do a uh, side loading but this time you want me to side load the mind the gap this one and you see that it does this verify Packages meanwhile and it updates or uploads it. Hmm. 
what I found the most hardest with this uh, guide, which is very well written, is that we want you to deviate from it to download things. Instead of saying here, download all this stuff before this is what you need. All right, let's see him, Ziggy, and it says, uh, signature verification fail installed anyway. Yes, installed anyway. All right, that went well. It went back to recovery uh, main menu. And if we go back here, we see that we get total X for one. Yes, this is a good message. So what we've done now is we completely install Lineage 27 from the beginning, from factory resetting it. We also installed uh, the Google app. So we are ready. All sets. You can now reboot your OS, uh, your device into OS for the first time. Back here to the screen, reboot now, reboot now. Let's go into the Ziggy Ziggy here, and it's already there in reboot system now, so I'm just gonna go for reboot system. All right, you want me to press twice there on the power, it goes faster. The lineage logo popping up. Here we go. Now, <clears throat> I made another mistake when I did this, and I will tell you what I did for mistake, so please don't do my mistake. I realized that my device, the gestures didn't work. So when I tried to go in and change, modify something, settings in this phone, when I'm setting it up now, I got stuck, I couldn't go back. So that's what I learned. So I'm gonna choose my language, yes. Let's go for the States, start. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to skip it. And that's, of course, is my All right. So I've got Wi-Fi access. <laughs> now it wants me to log into my Google account. And I agree things you will not see this because that's how I'm setting up my accounts. I choose not to copy data or uh, things. Uh, I don't want to have anything. Enabled. Thank you. There's a pin code. No, I don't want to have Google Assistant. No, skip. I don't want to pay with this phone. 
And here's where I try to do change wallpaper and stuff, but this is where I got stuck. So no thanks, I can do it later on. And I want to restore any data of backs up. You could do that. And I, if I want to have some update recovery. Eh, no, I don't. And I don't want to improve things. Here, I want to have screen navigation, dark, and this is where I messed up. So now I get free button navigation instead. And now start the phone. Boom. Completely wiped phone. Let's get back into the about the phone. Into six seven. Thank you, that's how it looks like. Get out, get into system, get to developer options. Enable, yes. Allow for this computer, yes. And yes, we will run as a root. Oh, all that works. Great, hey. Now what? So I got a phone with a set of completely new lineage OS. Awesome, great. I also got Play Store. Now what we need to do is getting into Thermux, because now we want to do that stuff. So on the Proxmark repo, there's a note and called Thermux notes. You will find it actually, if you just go down here and it says Thermux under here. It's a very simple kind of direct. It gives you three different ways. So I, I'm not going to do a PC like method. We're not doing that part. We're going to do this part the TCP UDP bridge method. And we're not gonna compile and flash on uh, Android as well. So let's go down to requirements. F-Droid, Taramux, Proxmark, and Blue Shark. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can do about that. Because what we have, we have a phone. Oh, that's okay. We have a Proxmark with a Bluetooth. So yeah, we're fine. But what we don't have on the phone right now is the F-Droid and the Tidermox. So let's get into uh, this little part here. Uh, we also mentioned what kind of cable you need to have between the Proxmox and Android for later on. Install F-Droid. All right, what is F-Droid? The Play Store version is not maintained that means you should not install it from from the google play store okay so what do we do then this is the f droid this is how it looks like it's an uh, open source alternative play store if we go for apps then we should be able to find a side loadable version of F-Droid. Okay, let's see if we can find that. Here. Let's go here. Now this demands root privilege, but we have on the recover methods to the system. Right. So we know how to get 
get uh, a zip file by site loading. So that's what we're going to do. We do F droids there. And we do, oops, and let's see, where are we here? Or do we have it here? No. Let's do this, this. All right, let's see, that's it, great. All right. We want to sideload this one, okay? Let's do this, ADB EXE devices. And it's there. So we're going to sideload this one by reboot. Reboot. Logo. Remember this? And the phone. We're going to restart into hospital mode. So now we're there. And now we're going to go into uh, recovery mode. And once in the recovery mode, we will be able to sideload things. I'm going to go for apply update and apply from A to B. And now we can sideload this thing. And we up our little bit here. We go here, mind the gaps, nope. Um, where's F drawer? Uh, uh, mind the gaps. Oh, here, this one. See that you failed. All right, cool. And then we reboot system. And then we go. Um, you know that. This is what I did. I know. Uh, I ran A to B exe dash D side load and the path to the zip file. Let's see what the phone says. Rebooting. And I hope this was allowed us to have the F droid laying there. Went to the pin. Now we have F droid. Look at that. Wing. Check for update. Something went wrong. Okay, that can happen. updating repositories and I can now use uh, this one. What do we need to do now? I need to have Tatermux. That's what I want me to install. Remember, go to F droid. Now we need to go install Tatermux. All right. We press search. Uh, that's okay. And here we want to have this one. Install. Have to allow after to install these things and settings 
Oh, I have to go back again. Thank you. And it's installed. Great. And we see Thermux here. Mm. If I press this, we are now in the Thermux uh, layout. And it tells us to do some things. It tells us to use P package, PKG. So let's see, we need to do PKG. Uh, oops, nope. And install. Root repo. Great. Now, if we head back on here, we got Tamux installed. We can either install this or this. Let's install the Git version of the course, but that's what I like. The latest source package. Install. Unavailable. Okay, cool. Uh, that let's install package Freeman. And that works. You can see it's eighteen two one eight. So it's the latest source there. Awesome. I now have Proxmark here installed on the phone running the Timebox. Now I would need I would need to hook this one up to the phone. And in order to do so, I need to install some bridges. Let's get into that one. So we did this, that worked nice. I'm not going to build the client, but that is. And what's the PC method? We don't want to have a PC method. We want to go there, bridge method. And try to explain it, how you connect it. So basically what I need to do is, what I need to do, Remove this cable to the computer, and then I will hook up USB. Uh, oops, there we go. That's the proxmo connected to the phone. Cool. Uh, so that's there, but okay. The Proxmark is connected to the phone with USB. Now I need to do something, and we need to have an USB UART bridge, either using TCP or we can use uh, UDP. Two different ways of doing it. So I recommend this on Play Store. All right, let's go see you again. Let's, let's, this is why we want to be Play Store installed. So this is Play Store. Now I will see TCP UART. That's bridge. I want to have that one. Store. Right, cool. Open it. And when I'm at it, another one oh, is this one. And that's this one here. So let's get in there and get one directly because it's just underneath there. Right, I will install that one as well. Boop. Uh, let's 
see if you're done with that. Play Store, and there's a lot of the ones available, but we're not going to use it. So, you get two new ones here. So, now I can run this. And mm, I have to connect it here. Yes, because I'm now connected with UART from the phone with cable. I want to add a server on port 8888 and I want to start it. So, TCP waiting for bridge. Okay, cool. I get into this one here and now. TCP. Okay, let's go here and show you uh, what you want to do. Actually, you want to say about connect and all that stuff here, but I just did, of course. So that's annoying. But what I'm trying to do right now is to do this one here, where it says, let me like, it says proxmark free TCP colon localhost colon and then the chosen port. Let's go back in here. So we need colon local colon eight 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 eight. All right, look at that. This is the Proxmo client running on Paramux. I present a little card. And now I can just run normal I can just run normal Proxmo client commands directly in my phone. This is with wire, with the, the phone powers the Proxmark over USB. I have a charged battery and a blue shark on it, but I will save that for another video. I'm pretty sure that you will uh, stop this video and try to repeat the steps I've done. Please let me know in the comments below uh, if you liked it or not liked it, if it was unclear. I will try to get the links in here, but in short, yes, try to download all the zips before, so it's much easier so you don't have to jump and switch between different tags because that makes you confused, and I got confused several times. And this time it only took 55 minutes to uh, go from zero to hero and installing Lineage OS 21, installing FDroid, installing Tatamux, installing the Proxmark client setup and some USB TCP bridges in order to connect to it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, please support me on my Patreon as well if you like all this content that I make and I hope you have 